I did not know that. Welcome to another episode of I Did Not Know That. Ever wonder about something? Maybe you'll find it here. Check out all the other videos on this channel and remember to like and subscribe. The Andy Griffith Show premiered in 1960 and by 1962, the show was already number five in the ratings. The program ran into a problem in 1962 when Howard McNear, who played Floyd the Barber, had a stroke and wasn't able to return until 1964. So Andy Griffith and the producers started looking for another character to develop to try to come in and fill the void. They decided on a character named Gomer Pyle. After some tryouts, they decided that George Lindsay would be the actor to play that character. That's right, I said George Lindsay. Lindsay, of course, was elated. But sadly, that didn't last long, because shortly after this, Andy Griffith saw Jim Neighbors performing somewhere and asked executive producer Aaron Rubin to meet the actor. They both really liked that Neighbors could portray someone so naive and innocent and offered him the role. They then went back to Lindsay and told him they'd decided on someone else for the part and pulled their offer. As you can imagine, Lindsay said the experience was devastating. Before we get to the rest of the story, I think it's important to give a little background on George Lindsay. While he often portrayed a backward and dim-witted hick on The Andy Griffith Show, in real life he was anything but that. He excelled in sports in high school and after graduating, he attended college where he majored in biological science and physical education. He was offered a scholarship to play football and played quarterback for the Florence State Teachers College, which later became the University of North Alabama. He was inducted into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame in 2011. After time in the Air Force, he taught science and physical education at a high school for a while, but he had been bit by the acting bug and left to attend the American Theater Wing in New York City. While learning the acting trade, Lindsay spent a lot of time trying to lose his southern accent. It's kind of ironic that later, the character that eventually made him famous had the southern accent he'd been trying to lose. I think what might surprise people is that Lindsay had many dramatic roles when he first broke into show business. Here's a clip where he played a drug dealer in 1963. You could find him doing dramatic roles on programs like The Twilight Zone, The Alfred Hitchcock Show, The Rifleman, and more. Let's look at a few of those. Deputy Pierce here, so what happened? And heard you. Now, wait a minute. Heard you is the word, Deputy. You said Jagger shot him from across the room. No such thing. Raffle it, Pierce, or I'll spread you all over this yard. Come on, I can't do it. You want to stay down here and die? We still got a chance. How do your lungs feel? We're almost out of air. If they do get to us, they'll find a ship full of dead men. Want to see that wife of yours again? Now let's get to the part about Spock. In 1964, two very different TV series ended up playing a significant role in the life of George Lindsay. He auditioned for a role for a character named Spock on a strange new series called Star Trek. There were many other actors who tried out for that role, including Martin Landau, Rex Homan, and Michael Dunn. Homan and Dunn eventually popped up in the series in other roles, but Lindsay was given the part and then he turned it down. How do we know this? Leonard Nimoy and Ernest Borgnine have both stated this. Nimoy, of course, was the one that got the part after Lindsay turned it down, and Borgnine 
who is not only an Oscar-winning star, but also George Lindsay's best friend, mentioned this surprising bit of information in his 2008 autobiography. The other series that again played a big role in his life was, of course, The Andy Griffith Show. Jim Neighbors had been so successful with the character of Gomer that plans were being made to have him star in his own TV series called Gomer Pyle USMC. With him leaving, they went back to Lindsay and asked if he'd like to play Gomer's cousin, Goober, in an episode called The Fun Girls. I imagine that Lindsay looked at the two opportunities and decided to go with a show that was already a big hit rather than an unknown sci-fi TV show. Both the Star Trek premiere and the Fun Girls episode aired within three months of each other. Lindsay admitted years later that while he enjoyed playing Goober, he never really got over being replaced for the role of Gomer after he'd been told he had already had the part. So think about this. Jim Neighbors not only replaced Lindsay, but then Neighbors went on to have his own series within a couple of years. And the series and the role of Spock that he turned down became a cultural phenomenon that goes on to this day. That had to be kind of tough to deal with. But according to all the information I found, despite this, Lindsay embraced the role of the dim-witted goober and also used it to raise over $1 million over the years for the Special Olympics. Lindsay really did make lemonade out of lemons. I have to admit, I have a hard time envisioning George Lindsay as Spock. But then again, you never know. I remember when I first heard that comedian Michael Keaton had been cast as Batman, I remember thinking that they must be crazy. But he more than pulled it off and some think his Batman is the standard for all who played Batman after him. So what do you think? Would George Lindsay have been able to pull off playing Spock?